my name is Francis van Niekerk and today we're putting the 177 trajectory to the test. Stay tuned to see what happens. For a long time now I've been wanting to test the 177 trajectory. It's supposed to be extremely flat so we're going to check that out at 20, 30, 40 and 50 meters and let's see what happens. First shot 20 meters and we're going to measure how much the bullet drops. It should be on at 20, might not be exact perfect zero but we're going to test out the overall trajectory and not specific zero points today. So let's see how that goes. Got the camera down range. Camera and camera picture magic. There we go. bullseye. Tiny bit high but I'm zeroed at 25 so I was expecting that. Alright we're at the 30 meter mark now. Got the same target backed up 30 meters from the muzzle. Approximately 30 meters from the muzzle and um, see how we get on. Let's see where that projectile lands. Low, high, I think it's gonna go high might be wrong It went high. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. All right, so we're backed up to 40 meters. 177, it's quite a calm day. We're fairly confident in this shot. It's far. 40 meters is far. We're gonna back it up even more after this, up to 50. Um, yeah. Let's see how we get on. <coughs> Man, I love this Wolf of Century, but boy, is it hard to cock when laying down especially. <laughs> Don't have that leverage. <laughs> All right, oh damn. Don't put the safety off before you're ready to shoot. It's a habit of mine, um, especially when pest controlling for skittish birds like the Indian miner. So as soon as I reload, always put the safety off. Make sure you keep your hand far away from that trigger and point the gun at a safe, um, safe backstop at all times. Let's get back to this 40 meters.
I think that hit low. That is far. We are backed up all the way to 50 meters. 50 meters! That's somewhere around 60 yards, I believe. Or 55 yards, 56 yards. Not sure, I'll put a little picture. <laughs> um, shooting with the H&N Field Target Trophies. They're 8.64 grain, very light. I must tell you, this is a FAC rated air gun. This is a 23 joule, I think, I think 23 or 26, can't remember, but it equates to um, 17 foot pounds of muzzle energy. So it's quite hot, shoots around 950 with these pellets, I believe almost close to a thousand feet per second um, but the results are incredible a 50 meters not yards 50 meters with a wolf century brake barrel it's far now it's really far 40 meters was far 50 is stretching it let's see how we get on Thing is heavy. Nope, not safety. <laughs> All right. Might have pulled that one. I'm gonna do another one. But it should be at the at the right height. So I'm gonna leave it. Won't do another one. Let's see how we did. Alright, so I'm taking a walk over to the target and um yeah, so I'm expecting that one to have dropped quite a bit, but we'll see. Um, I haven't done testing long ranges, well, quote, long range with a brake barrel for a long time. So yeah, it dropped. It dropped significantly. But that's the weird thing about air rifles is, and I'll show you guys in a second. I just want to put this camera off. All right, so. That's the weird thing about air rifles. They kind of behave like a, for instance, a squash ball. I don't know if you've, if you've ever played squash, you know the ball travels really fast up to the point where it hits the wall. It slows down dramatically when it comes back. Um, for the professional players, it might be a little bit different. Maybe it's not such a good example, but um, yeah. Anyway, it travels really fast and then as soon as it reaches that point it slows down drastically and that's the whole point of a Diabolo shaped pellet. Um, it's to increase the drag so that you can take down um, game and animals, maybe not small game and pest species without having the risk of a two kilometer projectile flying through the air and maybe hitting out a window or something you know just stupid example but that's the whole point it's supposed to go really fast and then slow down really fast as well so it has a 
uh, quite a short range actually and that's why the pellet trajectory is quite flat and goes down drastically quite quickly um, very very interesting stuff I pull this off shot off to the um, left so you'll see that now but let me show you what we came up with with a 177 trajectory and it's quite surprising very very surprising so that the trajectory is a bell curve it is a given it's a trajectory not a laser so it should be rising and falling and we've proven that so if we took more um, increments we should have seen that it stays there it should stay there maybe a little bit it would create one hole so you wouldn't really be able to see um, and then it should start dropping down slower 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 all the way up to 50 and um, I can't push it further than that um, with my skills in the scope um, this is a six times fixed, fixed um, magnification scope with adjustable objective which makes it amazing so yes um, keep in mind this is for these pellets out of this rifle and um, fact is they can change this for different rifles or power output um, humidity uh, temperature uh, the head size of your pellet this for example is 4.51 um, which means it is slightly it's 0 0.01 millimeters too big uh, bigger than 4.5 um, so it fits tightly in the barrel and that increases friction decreases um, ve initial velocity but it does give you stability so you got to trade off it's quite a heavy science actually but um, yes so coming back to the trajectory we know that it's a curve and we know that it rises and it falls and we've proven that and that when I said about the the projectile moving really fast and then slowing down drastically that is the whole point of a Diabolo um, shaped pellet and um, that's the whole design of it so that it travels really fast and slows down really fast uh, so that you don't have that uh, ricochet um, capability of a 22 long rifle and this is where ballistic coefficient comes into play the higher the ballistic coefficient the longer it takes for the pellet to slow down so if you want a long range um, to set up your rifle for a long range uh, shooting you want for first high scope mounts and I'll cover this in the next video but just to give you a uh, kind of preview the high scope mounts um, make that the top of the bell curve is closer to uh, then it goes it doesn't go over and under as drastically as fast but um, I'll talk about that in more in depth in another video and um, ballistic coefficient is basically the coefficient of how fast your pellet slows down probably put this down um, it's how fast the projectile slows down so if you want a long-range shooter you're going to um, have to get quite high mounts obviously good quality glass optic um, a pellet that suits your rifles power output and has a high ballistic coefficient now H&N pellets typically have a high um, ballistic coefficient but don't take my word for it go search it um, H&N has a, on its site it has all the BC's of its um, pellets and BC stands for ballistic coefficient uh, but yes I'm very happy with the results we obtained today proves that the 177 is in fact a very flat trajectory um, but a 22 shooting at the same power will have a similar trajectory so don't make that mistake of thinking a 177 is flatter than a 22 that is hot that holds true for sub 12 foot pound uh, to make one of these you're going to take your plate you're going to mark something with a little bit of color uh, maybe an orange stripe or different color for each uh, range 
going to go back and put it at that range look through your scope from where you shot and then make a note to yourself either on a piece of card like this stick it to the back of the tin or um, a mental note if you can remember it great um, less times to spend before taking a shot in the field or when shooting HFT comps or something like that um, so what you're basically doing is working back from and then looking from where where it hit to where you were aiming and then make a note of it where it should where it should hit the next time and then test that put another card up there and hold that little bit over or under whatever you need to do and shoot and test whether it hits that spot um, that's going to be the ultimate test for your trajectory and your skills um, to see if you can hit it all I hope you all enjoyed that's all for today shoot safe and enjoy I'll see you on the next one